Christian again, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna look at how to program cues for songs that have tempo changes. So in front of us is Waymaker by Leland, and you can see that the song comes quite nicely along at the same tempo until this final chorus and instrumental. And then because of the way it was recorded, we think we lose the click and the tempo automation clicks in, and there's quite a lot of tempo changes from here to the end. So what we need to be able to do is export a MIDI file that takes into consideration those changes so that when we bring it into playback it still lines up. So how are we going to do that? Well firstly here's our MIDI clip that I've already created and if I played this along in Ableton it's going to work perfectly because the MIDI clip is controlled by the automation. But the thing to point out is none of the audio in this file is being controlled by the automation, only the grid and the MIDI file. So if I delete the tempo automation the tracks are still going to play correctly, but now the grid and the MIDI file is going to be slightly out of sync. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just trim this MIDI file first. So I'm going to click into here on this marker and just use the shortcut to cut it into two sections. So I know up until here it's fine. And then this is the section that I'm working with. I'm going to come up to the tempo and I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete the automation. So now my grid is consistent all the way through. So what I need to do is build my MIDI notes to the grid that's consistent, ignoring the tempo automation. And I'm going to focus in specifically on this last section. And the way that I do that is I'm going to route this back out to my IAC bus driver 2. I'm going to snap that to half my screen and I've got Waymaker on the other half of the screen. So now if I play my song, you see that it triggers the MIDI notes and progresses through the timeline so I can make sure that everything is okay. So let's jump to the section that we're going to be looking at now. So it's after this refrain and it's this last chorus. And all we're going to do is we're going to press play and I'm going to manually nudge the MIDI notes around. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to double tap into the slide in question here. Normally I'd have this bigger on one screen to be easier to see. And these are the MIDI notes that I'm looking at. So I'm going to zoom in on these MIDI notes and I'm simply just going to move them to where I need them to be so that it makes sense with the song and also with the lyrics. So. So that Miracle Worker is a little bit too early, so I'm going to nudge that one back a little bit. Let's try that again from here. Breakdown. That felt good to me. Let's jump to that section. Breakdown. So again, Promise Keeper is too soon, so this MIDI note here now, I want to move here, let's just do that again because I elongated that rather than copied it. So let's zoom in on this MIDI note and let's move this one to about here and let's see how that looks. Breakdown. Cool, it could be slightly sooner if I wanted. Light in the darkness is obviously too soon, so we're going to move that one back and see how kind of how this is working. Let's just do one more run. Good, and so this this one is the last note that just needs to move, and I'm gonna move that one to here for the moment just to see how that feels. And I'm literally just doing it by sight and by listening to the audio. We make a so that's where I want my god to be, so I'm gonna move it forward back onto this line here. And that's the process. I would go through, I would notch the other MIDI notes back in. Um, if the tempo came back to the normal tempo, I could split that and I could be good to go. And then again, same as before, when I'm finished, I'm going to highlight all of the MIDI notes, drag back, and I'm going to consolidate them with Command J into one MIDI clip, right click, and export that MIDI clip. The other way of doing this is simply by looking at the timeline on playback and manually typing the numbers back into the grid in multitracks.com in the cloud view as per the previous video. So that's how you handle songs with tempo changes. Hope that helps. Take care. Good guys.